Hey everybody, this is Dr. Nelson. Uh, this is a video on writing and solving equations. All right, so the first couple pages you're going to take notes, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so the, the whole point of this lesson is to learn how to write your own equation and then solve it. All right, so here what I did is I created a list, okay, of key words associated with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. All right. So, for example, anytime you see the word plus, the sum of, increased by, total, more than, or added to, that's a sign that it's going to be some type of addition problem. Okay? Subtraction, uh, minus, the difference of, decreased by, fewer than, less than, or subtracted from, all right, is, deals with subtraction. Multiplication, uh, times, the product of, multiplied by, or of, okay? And then last but not least, division uh, divided by or the quotient of. All right, so those are the four main operations. So the, the better you know this table, uh, the better off you're going to be uh, doing these activities. Okay, so here's some examples. It says translating verbal phrases. All right, now notice I underlined the word phrases. Um, anytime you see the word phrase, I want you to think of the word expression. Alright, so if I ever ask you to write down a verbal phrase, that's basically uh, another way of saying write an expression. So here's some examples. Um, a number increased by 5. So if you notice, again, the word increased by is under addition. That's why it's x plus 5. Um, this one, the keyword is less than, right? And less than is inside this table, so it's subtraction. Um, 3 more than twice a number. Um, Twice tends to deal with multiplication. Uh, that's why it's 2x plus 3. And then last but not least, uh, 4 decreased by the quotient of a number in 7. All right? Um, so the quotient of a number in 7, quotient, uh, deals with division. All right? So if you turn the page, please. All right. Now we're going to talk about something called verbal sentences. All right? Before, it was verbal phrases. Okay? Anytime you see the word verbal sentence, or, or, or excuse me, the, the phrase verbal sentences, what that means is an equation. All right, so a verbal phrase is an expression. A verbal sentence means an equation. All right, um, and the key word about this, anytime you see the word is, is in math normally means equals. So here's some examples. Uh, 16 increased by a number is 27. So here's 16 increased by a number is, right, and then 27, all right? And there's a few more here. The difference of twice a number and three, this should read is four. So the difference, that's gonna be a subtract, right? Uh, is, and that's gonna be a negative four there. Uh, the product of one half and a number is 36. Again, is means equals. And then finally, um, negative 3 is equal to twice the sum of a number and 2. Now, this is a keyword here, sum. Um, sum is associated with addition, all right? But notice it's twice the sum. That's why we have to use the distributive property to do 2 times y plus 2, all right? So let's try some of these. Um, the sum of a number and 9 equals 24. So it's the addition of a number plus negative 9 is going to equal 24. Uh, the product of a number in negative 5 is 10. So that would be negative 5n equals 10. 13 is equal to 5 minus a number. So 13, again, is in math means equal, so is equal to 5 minus a number, so 5 minus n. Now this one's a little bit tricky. One fourth of the difference of six and a number is 200. All right. Well, we know is 200 is going to equal 200. I'm going to put that over here. And then one fourth of the difference of six and a number. So the difference of six and a number is going to be six minus n. But we want one fourth of that. Remember, of in math means multiply. So it's going to be one fourth times 6 minus n in parentheses equals 200. And last but not least, the sum of negative 4 times a number 
and 3 is 27. So negative 4 times a number plus 3 equals 27. All right, now they have a better understanding of how to write and solve equations. Why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problems? And then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems. Okay, so the directions say, write the verbal phrase or sentence as a variable expression or equation. Let n represent the number, all right? So this first one, the quotient of a number in three is eight. So we know this is gonna be a verbal sentence because um, it has the word is in it. So is eight is equals eight. And then the quotient of a number in three, that'll be n divided by three equals eight. This one here, four added to the square of a number. All right, this is gonna be a verbal phrase because we're taking four and we're adding it to the square of a number. Uh, the next one, eight multiplied by the difference of nine and a number. All right, this one's gonna involve the distributive property. So eight times the difference of nine and a number. It's gonna be nine minus n. And there it is. All right, the next one, you had to uh, write the equation and solve it. So this one says the temperature decreased by 24 degrees Fahrenheit and is now 75 degrees Fahrenheit. What was the original temperature? Um, write and solve an equation to determine the temperature. All right, so again, the temperature decreased by 24 degrees and is now 75 degrees. So again, there's our is. So we know it's gonna equal 75. Now for this time, I'm gonna use T for temperature. So we know the temperature, which is T, decreased by 24 degrees and is now 75 degrees. So to solve this, I'm gonna add 24 to both sides. And when you do that, you get T equals 99 degrees. All right, last but not least, a sweater is on sale for half off the regular price and is now $16. What was the regular price of the sweater? Uh, write and solve an equation to determine the price of the sweater. So this is what we know. We know the sweater used to have a price and it was divided in half and the new price is $16. So when I multiply both sides by two, we're gonna get N equals $32. And that was the original price of the sweater.